Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. It's National Beer Day, but we got 12 exciting races we want to show you. And who better than get the track and weather conditions from but Pete Aiello. The Saturday card begins with beautiful weather conditions for horse racing, a sunny sky, a fast main track, and a firm turf course. Temperatures in the upper 70s here today. First of 12 on the afternoon over the turf and a mile on the 16th. Claimers in for a price tag of 12500 A field of eight signed on. The favorite was number six, Sister Drama. Racing at Gulfstream to a level beginning. Cosita Rica has speed from an inside gate. Moving up on the outside here is Voices Only from between horses. She's a great one moving up. She's a great one, and Voices Only will land one, two as they charge to the first turn. Cosita Rica is at the rail with Sister Drama on the two path, and Puppetov out three wide. And it's a length and a half back to Freckle to Freck, who's off the speed, and in front of only two, the two at the back are Miss American and Charming Kid. 24 and 4 for a reasonable opening quarter speed. And up on the outside, Jonathan Gonzalez sends voices only to a clear advantage. Opens two and a half. She's a great one, is back to second. Sister Drama is now third. Cosita Rica is tucked in fourth for Nick Juarez. Three wide in Puppetov. Then Miss American, who moves past Freckle to Freck, who's second last. And still nothing yet from Charming Kid. They make their way to the half mile point. They look like they're trying to back down the speed even more through a 48 and three half mile. The leader is voices only three parts of a length. Sister Drama is now in a prime tracking spot second. From between horses, Cosita Rica is now third ahead of She's a Great One and Puppetov. Miss American has rail position for Relu Gutierrez. Charming Kid gets started. Freckle to Freck is last as they round the far turn. Up front, the leader now is Sister Drama. She has not been asked to run and she leads the way a length and a quarter. Cosita Rica into the clear and to the attack second back to third and coming on charming kid then she's a great one and voices only and they're at the top of the stretch three quarters 112 and three and into the drive they run cosita rica issues the challenge to sister drama charming kid is third miss american and freckle to freck final eighth of a mile cosita rica for a narrow lead charming kid and freckle to freck on the outside unleashing a late run it's still cosita rica clear to the wire cosita rica well when it freckle to freck second charming kid third fourth miss american then she's a great one and 144 flat. Number six, Sister Drama poised to strike, but when she was asked to quicken, she did not. And the upset went to number two, Cosita Rica. She was bet down from the morning line, but she gets the score for, tra for trainer Francisco D'Angelo and the D'Angelo stable. Nick Juarez on board for the winning ride. Second, number three, Freckle de Freck. Third was the one, Charming Kid. We move now to the second race of the afternoon over the main track at one mile. Maiden claimers in for a price tag of $10,000. Field of eight signed on. The betters like the eight going to the beach. And they're off. Slight bobble and a bounce around at the beginning for going to the beach. It was a good start for Sound of the Tap from down toward the inside, moving out the rail. Kahuna going to the beach, recovers and moves into the top flight. And so does Resistance Jack as they link up with the main course, Global Heroes between horses. So they're four across the track, and Jaramillo puts going to the beach on the lead. Sound of the Tap, and Alvarado Jr. moved through toward the inside to apply some pressure in second. Taken in hand, third is Resistance Jack to race off the flank of the leader with Global Hero at the rail. Then comes Peckin ahead of Padre, three back to Papa Joel, and Kahuna is last. 24 and 3 for the opening quarter speed. There's less than five furlongs to go. With the lead, sound of the tap, three parts of length. On the rebid, second is going to the beach. Global Hero tucked in third, resistance jack fourth. Back to fifth and Peckin, three back to Padre, three clear of Papa Joel. Kahuna is last. 47 and 2 for the opening half mile speed as they leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Up front, sound of the tap at the three furlong point with the lead. Global Hero works into the clear for an opportunity. That's all for going to the beach. The favorite is back third. Then Resistance Jack and Peckin as they run to the top of the stretch. Edgar Zayas and Global Hero issue the challenge to sound of the tap. These two pass the quarter pole after three quarters and 112 and 2. And Global Hero doing the better work. Global Hero off the turn is 7 to 1 and kicking away to a three length lead. Lead. Sound of the tap is well clear second, then back to going to the beach. Nothing from resistance, Jack. Padres up the rail. He might get third. He can't catch Global Hero. Global Hero, 7-1 to one and kicking away with authority. Global Hero in front. Sound of the tap will get second ahead of Padre third and going to the beach fourth.
Number eight going to the beach, burned some money yet again as he went favored and did not fire his best shot. The win goes to number four, Global Hero. From the connections who were favored in the first race, trainer Yvonne Belsor and owner Bruno Schickendons. Edgar Zayas on board, the winning son of Awesome Patriot. Second, number three, Sound of the Tap. He's run super in his two goal stream efforts, ahead of number two, Padre, who was best of the rest, while third. Time for commercial break. When we come back, lots of action left. Don't go away. We have to take care of these horses that, you know, give us so much joy. Being accredited by the TAA gives us instant credibility. People trust us even more than they have before because they know that the TAA has been to all of our location and that our horses are well cared for. I mean, this farm wouldn't look the way it is. These horses wouldn't look the way they are if it wasn't for the generosity and the hard work of the Thoroughbred Aftercare Alliance. They've united our whole industry in terms of the aftercare movement. And we're all working together for the same purpose. OBS April, the tea rolls source to the world, with great one stakes winners, including Minder Biscuits, impressive hero of the $2 million Dubai Golden Shaheen, grade one stakes winning millionaire Sharp Azteca, and grade one stakes winning Philly La Coronel. Find your next grade one winner at the OBS Spring Sale of Tea Rolls April 24th through 27th. Under TAC previews are April 16th through 21st. OBS, we measure success by performance. Back now for the third race of the afternoon at one mile over the main track. Claimers in for a price tag of $6,250. We had a field of seven. The favorite was number four, King Power. And they're off. Centard from between horses. Headhunter wants to get part of the yearly lead. Right alongside is the favorite King Power. Down at the rail, Silver Chalice with lunch break between horses. Here's the illustrious son marching forward on the outside. So it's going to be a three-way go for the yearly lead. With the lead, it's illustrious son, King Power second, Headhunter third. Silver Chalice wants to make it a party. Down at the rail from fourth. And these four go quickly. They've worked three better than chasing the roses ahead of lunch break. And the trailer is mass approval. 23-2 and two for a fast opening quarter mark. And up front now, it's still illustrious son on the outside of the leader, King Power. Silver Chalice is third. Headhunter is outpaced at the moment. He's racing in fourth, trying to re-rally from there. It's a gap of four to Chasing the Roses ahead of lunch break, and mass approval is last. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn. On the outside, illustrious son from the inside, King Power. They went 45 and three for a wicked half mile. And they lead three over Silver Chalice. Ridden third, Headhunter, ridden fourth. And back to the outside, mass approval has a shot from there. So does lunch break with a rail run. Chasing the Roses is last, five sixteenths away. On the inside, it's King Power trying to bottom out the group. From the outside, illustrious son is still second. The danger might be mass approval at a huge price. He's up to third, back to fourth, Silver Chalice. Chalice and they're at the top of the stretch. Three quarters, one ten and three, three sixteenths to go. Figueroa and King Power lead by two. Mass approval continues to grind away on the outside. Racing in between horses is Illustrious Sun. Six to five favorite. King Power has enough in the tank as he still has a three length lead. Illustrious Sun is second. Mass approval flattens out. King Power all the way. Second, Illustrious Sun. Third, Mass approval. Silver Chalice outruns lunch break for fourth in 138 and four. Number four, King Power survives a big time pace duel and hold on to, for the victory under jockey Heriberto Figueroa, the trainer Louis Ramirez, and owner Daniel Figueroa. Second, five, illustrious son ahead of the six, Mass Approval, who ran third. Favorite a winner, race three. To the fourth race now at seven furlongs over the main track, starter allowance optional claiming event. Three year old Phillies took center stage here. A field of seven. This was a wide open betting race. And they're off. Beautiful wife was a step slow to get going. Good start for Aurora Princess from Between Horses. She's heading off for the yearly lead from Y'all, who comes away in second. Down at the inside, here's Hey Y'all. Watch this, moving up to be third. Rushing on fourth is Flashing Diamond ahead of Miss Jack. The two at the back are Sweet Magic and Beautiful Wife. Down the back stretch they go. It's Aurora Princess and Amisael Jaramillo carving out the numbers with a neck in front. Y'all on the outside, second, tucked in third is Hey Y'all, watch this. Miss Jack is three wide, Flashing Jimon is in the two path. Two and a half clear of Beautiful Wife and the trailer is Sweet Magic. 
Past the half mile pole and swinging to the far turn. The battle up front continues. Three wide, there goes Miss Jack to try to get to Aurora Princess. Y'all between horses. Fourth is Hey Y'all, watch this. She needs a little racing room. Flashing Diamond keeps her bottled up. Three back to Sweet Magic. Beautiful Wife is last with five sixteenths to go. The top five separated by two lengths in the run to the top of the stretch. Aurora Princess trying to fend off the challenges from Miss Jack and in the two path, Y'all. Hey Y'all, watch this. Still needs racing room with Flashing Diamond on the outside. As they wheel for home. Aurora Princess set down for the drive and still has the lead to the attack. Miss Jack launches a bit on the outside and these two have kicked away from the others with less than an eighth of a mile to go. Miss Jack set down by Miguel Vasquez and has the lead. Back to second, Aurora Princess. Miss Jack, Aurora Princess, Miss Jack in front. Aurora Princess was second. Hey y'all, watch this, was third in 124 and two. Number six, Miss Jack claimed last time out off a victorious debut run. Today, she takes a big step forward as she was on the class hike. And she remains undefeated. Miguel Vasquez on board for trainer Fernando Abreu and owner Robert Bone. Second, number four, Aurora Princess ahead of three. Hey, y'all, watch this. Who ran third? We move now to the fifth race of the afternoon, the start of the second pick four of the day. Today's fifth race, it's six furlongs. Claimers in for a price tag of $6,250. Scratch number six, 20 and four, a field of nine. The favorite was the eight, Journey's End. And they're off. Level beginning. Mito Siliendas was one of the first to break the line. Wild Mongolia has speed. Bocati is being sent in between horses with Forrest Gator alongside. Here's the favorite, Journey Zen, who finds his feet into the top flight. So does Cotton Colors, and so does Horse Spotter Carl. It's a wall of horses up front. The two at the back are Sarge and Pear Pear Tie. The entire field separated by about four lengths in the run to the half mile point. And with the lead now, it's Forrest Gator in front by a neck. Cotton Colors on the outside is second. Racing into third is Journey Zen from Horse Spotter Carl, who's out wide fourth. Down at the inside, that's Mito Siliendas ahead of our Sarge and Pear Pear Tai, then Bocati and Wild Mongolia. 22 and 3 for the opening quarter speed. There's 5 16ths to go. From fourth, R. Sarge under a full head of steam from Nick Juarez. And with the lead, it's Cotton Colors. Right there with the leaders is the favorite Journey's End. Trying to run on from the back of the leaders is Mito Siliendas, and they're at the top of the stretch. With the lead now, it's a battle up front. On the outside, an R. Sarge for a narrow lead. Journey's End is still there. Second, Cotton Colors third. Mito Siliendas is next. Down the outside and pair, pair tie. Deep stretch. R. Sarge has the lead close to home. R. Sarge has the lead. It's it's our Sarge in front. Cotton Colors was second, third Journey Zen, fourth pair, pair tie, then Mitos Eliendas. For eight, Journey Zen was a bit disappointing in today's fifth race as the victory went to number one, R. Sarge, who sat off a very contentious early pace and rolled home for Nick Juarez and trainer Eddie Plisa Jr. R. Sarge owned by Leon Elman, Lori Plisa, and David Mellon. Second was nine, Cotton Colors, ahead of number eight, Journey Zen, who just didn't fire his best shot. He had to settle for third. We move now to race number six of the afternoon over the turf at about seven and a half furlongs. Allowance optional claiming horses on the turf. Scratch number eight, Scam, a field of seven. Favorites included the one, by time one on, and the two, Adonis Creed. And they're off. Shadow Rock missed the start about three lengths. Adonis Creed begins right on the money and quickly gets to the front three parts of a length over Mai Tai one on, who's taken in hand to race in second. Salute to Colonel is about three or four wide with Forever Taken floating him out of touch, then Reflected Star who drops over to the rail. Gray Dude is second last and after a subpar getaway, Shadow Rock is last of the seven and about five lengths off the lead of Adonis Creed. Adonis Creed leads the way a length and a quarter. Mai Tai one on is now second. That's Forever Taken who now shuffles himself back to fifth, moving third to Salute the Colonel. Gray Dude is at the rail and out three wide in Shadow Rock. At the back of the group is Reflected Star just ahead of him for a 24 and three opening quarter. With the advantage, it's Adonis Creed. He's got his neck bowed and does it a length and a half in front of Mai Tai Wanan, who's not going to let him get too far away. Second, salute the Colonel. Third, Gray Dude has rode the rail into contention. He's now fourth. Reflected star three wide while fifth. Then back to Forever Taken and still nothing from Shadow Rock. That's the seven of them as the pace starts to quicken. Mai Tai Wanan giving the challenge to Adonis Creed. These two sprint and sprint clear by the about five over the rest of the field, led by Gray Dude as they wheel home. Adonis Creed has a fight on his hands today. Up on the outside, it's Mai Tai Wan on who now takes the lead. Adonis Creed is dead game, and he's boxing on now. With less than an eighth of a mile to go, the leader is Mai Tai Wan on. Adonis Creed had to check. He alters course. He's second, but Mai Tai Wan on comes clear to win it. Second was Adonis Creed. Third, Gray Dude ahead of Reflected Star and Salute the Colonel.
Big time battle inside the final quarter of a mile between the one and two, but in the end, Nick Juarez and number one, My Taiwan On, get the money. Trainer Jane Sabelli and owner George Byers, who has now won six consecutive races as an owner. Second was number two, Adonis Creed. Third was the seven, a gray dude. Time for commercial break. When we come back, the Rainbow Six sequence is made in sprint on the main track right after this. And Go Zipper is pulling away. Zephyr blows them away with an eye-opening performance. Oh, again has won! Go Zephyr kicking clear. Judy the beauty! Back now for race number seven on the program, made in special weight variety and the lead-off leg of today's Rainbow Six. Today's seventh race had a field of eight. Favorites included the one, Nobody Knows Nothing, and the two, Malibu Strings. And they're off. Awkward getaways for Dr. Dub and Full Moon. Great start for Nobody Knows Nothing, who fires right to the front under Luca Panici and leads by two over Starship Taxi in second. On the outside, it's Bam Bam Blue, who's now third from Dr. Dub, who moves up to be fourth. The favorite Malibu Strings is at the rail fifth, ahead of Bonterra and Sabido, and left behind last is Full Moon. They make their way past the half mile and move to the far turn. And the dirt debut, nobody knows nothing. Leads the way now, three parts of a length. Starship Taxi on the outside is second. Bam Bam Blue at the rail is third. Following fourth is Dr. Dub. Four back to Malibu Strings, not keeping up yet with Bonterra and Sabido. And Full Moon is last. Five sixteenths away. Nobody knows nothing. Certainly has this to throw away. Leads the way a length and a quarter. Starship Taxi is second. Bam Bam Blue has a shot from third. Needs to angle for racing room. Far outside, Malibu Strings starts to get underway. Three sixteenths to go with the lead now. Nobody knows nothing. Juarez has to duck inside with Bam Bam Blue, who's second. Malibu Strings unleashing a good rally on their Jaramillo on the outside. Here's Malibu Strings, very green, as nobody knows nothing has the lead. Malibu Strings one more time. Here's the line. It's going to be too tight to call. Might have been outside. Malibu Strings photos with nobody knows nothing and 111 and 2. Number two, Malibu Strings was very, very green inside the final quarter of a mile, but he finally figured out what jockey Amisael Jaramillo wanted him to do, and he did it as he got up for the narrow victory for trainer Todd Pletcher and owners and breeders, Wartheimer and Ferrer. Number one, nobody knows nothing, fired big to just miss while second ahead of the three, Bonterra, who finished third. We move now to the eighth race of the day, the start of today's late pick five, five furlongs on turf. Claimers in for a price tag of 12,500. Scratch number five, Proud Legacy, a field of 10. This was a wide open betting race. And they're off. Toward the inside, Tender Value hits the ground running. From the outside and up into second is Dixie Grits, punching between horses. Queen Fantabulous, passionate girl, wants to keep her spot toward the rail. And Miguel Vasquez was successful in that initiative as she saves ground to be third. The little baby Bella is now back to fifth. Up on the outside, it's Indian Myth. Then comes Flying Queen, Dancing Gia, followed by outside running Make Yourself at Home. Left behind last is Two-Timing Girl. Around the far turn they go. The opening quarter was 22-3. and three. Lionel Reyes and Tender Value have the lead at the top of the stretch they lead by two passionate girl the nearest pursuer second from third and dixie grits little baby bella winds it up while four wide and they're at the top of the stretch tender value has been in front from the outset maintains a two-length lead passionate girl to the attack second late run from flying queen third tender value tries to get another 16th passionate girl running at her on the outside tender value and passionate girl passionate girl tender value passionate girl has the win very close for second between tender value and flying queen running up on the inside to be fourth was two-timing girl number one passionate girl was a narrow winner of today's eighth race but jockey miguel vasquez should be given a lot of credit for that as he made sure that she had a rail spot going into that far turn an advantageous position to be in indeed and passionate girl kicks by to win it trainer jenna ansonucci and drawing away stable two tender value the tampa invader fired a big shot to just miss while well second ahead of number six flying queen who ran third Time now for the ninth race of the day, the start of today's late pick four, six furlongs of the journey. Maidens of the special weight variety, these are fillies and mares. Scratch the eight communal, that was a late scratch. A field of 11, off-time favorites included seven, helping Lisa D, and nine, Shanghai Shuffle. And they're off. Lydia's way was off a step slow and checked back. 
It was a good start for Grand Tap, and up on the outside, well acquainted. In between horses, twice as magical has some speed. Away in fourth is Beach Girl, followed by Shanghai Shuffle, then helping Lisa D. Got to have a holiday on the outside. Working a length and a half better than Classy Shackles, then Alter Rhythm. Red Ribbon on her outside, and back to Lydia's way as they speed to the far turn. Up front, twice as magical, and Eddie Nunez at a big number through a rock-solid opening quarter of 21-4. and four. Grand Tap is second, three wide and well-acquainted as well-situated. Shanghai Shuffle in the starlight colors, ridden fourth under Jaramillo, gaining ground while four wide. Gap of five to Gotta Have a Holiday, then Beach Girl. Three back to helping Lisa D and Red Ribbon as they run to the top of the stretch. Up front, it's Mario Pino and well-acquainted, still having in front a length and a quarter. From the inside, that's twice as magical. Shanghai Shuffle is driven as well-acquainted. Acquainted looks to throw the knockout punch. Well acquainted inside the final furlong kicks away to lead by three. Shanghai Shuffle is up into second. Some late work being done by Alter Rhythm, helping Lisa D and Beach Girl. 16th to go. Well acquainted still there. Late run from Alter Rhythm, but well acquainted and Mario Pino to win it by two and a half. Alter Rhythm got up for second. Shanghai Shuffle was third, helping Lisa D finish fourth. Jockey Mario Pino doesn't ride many races this time of year here at Gulfstream Park, so when he does ride some, make sure to pay attention as number 10, Well Acquainted, gets the victory at a nice price for trainer Clyde Martin and owner and breeder Augustine Stable. Again, the veteran rider Mario Pino, winner of countless titles in Maryland and Pennsylvania, he was the winning rider. Number six, Alter Rhythm was second ahead of the nine, Shanghai Shuffle, who ran third. We move now to the 10th race of the afternoon over the turf at about seven and a half furlongs. Race number 10 has a claiming price of 12,500. Scratch number eight, Clemson and Watson, a field of nine. Lukewarm choice was the nine, burning wild. And they're off. Grand Chief was a step slow. Good start inside for Remembering Mickey and Arch Villain, who were heading off for the early lead, splitting horses as Love My Cotton up the challenge, and darn that Parker's going to be hung four or five wide as they hit that first turn run. Harmiel's trying to back off with Arch Villain as Remembering Mickey marches to the top. Up into second is darn that Parker. Love My Cotton is now third at the inside and Arch Villain. Changing leads from the top shelf is maneuvered to the rail fifth, a half in front of Perp, who's now sixth. Two and a half to Burning Wild in seventh, racing in eighth is Mr. Pinocchio, and after a subpar getaway grand chief is ninth and last behind a 23 and three opening quarter speed down the back stretch they go edgar zayas trying to harness the speed of remembering mickey who leads the way three parts of length darn that parker is pressing the issue in second at the rail arch villain a joint third love my cotton on the outside of him then comes perp and changing leads burning wild in the red blinkers is about five or six lengths off the lead racing ahead of mr pinocchio grand chief is last as they round the far turn 46 and four for the opening half mile there's less than three for longs to go. Advantage still to remembering Mickey at the quarter pole on top by a length and a quarter. Darn that Parker given the green light to try to make ground second Burning Wild swings into action with Arch Villain and up the rail and changing leads with three sixteenths to go. The leader is still remembering Mickey. Remembering Mickey strides to a three length lead. Darn that Parker Burning Wild Arch Villain changing leads. They all battle for the minors but the major is remembering Mickey. Remembering Mickey all the way won it by five in the end. Burning Wild was second. Darn that Parker was third. Changing Changing leads, finish fourth. Number two, remembering Mickey, secured a fairly hassle-free lead under jockey Edgar Zayas, and the son of Bernardini went gate to wire to win it for trainer Bill Thorinos and horsing around stable. Again, Edgar Zayas on board for his second winner of the day. Number nine, Burning Wild was second. He always gets those minor awards. Ahead of number seven, Darn That Parker, who held on well to be third. Time for a commercial break. When we come back, we'll stay on the turf and bring you the late daily double. Don't go away. A passion for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder, and trainer, Hardacre Farm, based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm. From the breeding shed to the racetrack. In pursuit of producing the best. Back now for race number 11 on the program, the start of the late daily double, but a mile on turf, starter allowance optional claiming event. A field of eight signed on, and this was a wide open betting race. And they're off. Comatine missed the break, two lengths. 
Candy Asset and Appa, the first two to begin at the rail. Carbon Data wants to save his inside position. Moving up on the outside, that's Geo Dude to be part of the party. And so is Charnley River as they charge to that first turn. It's a keyed up Charnley River on to attack the early leader. And that was Carbon Data, but now it's Charnley River. Charnley River, a length and a quarter. Carbon Data second on the outside and Geo Dude. Candy Asset is between horses. Appa is at the rail. Settled mid flight is Trouble in Phoenix ahead of Passport to Chaos. And the trailer is Com 18. 22 and three for a sharp opening quarter speed. And at nine to one, it's Luca Panici on Charnley River, who lead the way by three. Second is Carbon Data, then back to third is Geo Dude. Candy Asset follows along fourth. Appa's got the shuffle a bit. He's back to fifth now. Out wide on the course, Com 18 trying to move. That forces the hand of Passport to Chaos. And now last is Trouble in Phoenix, as Juarez will have to get some place for him to go as he's last of all behind a wicked half of 45 and two. Charlie River blazing the trail out here, quite literally leads the way by two. Up on the outside, here's a run from second running of Carbon Data. Geodude on the outside, third, Candy Asset scrubbed on fourth. Passport to Chaos, four wide while fifth. Running on is Appa, nothing today from Trouble in Phoenix after three quarters and 109 flat. They're at the top of the stretch. Charlie River surviving. Appa's into the clear and he's on a roll now. Here comes Appa, four off the rail charging at the leader on the far outside and passport to chaos still going with him appa and passport to chaos passport to chaos for the front now jose batista and passport to chaos will win it at nine to two appa second candy s at third then charlie river and come team nice stretch kick here today from the son of city zip number eight passport to chaos in the center of the course gets the win and the photo under jockey jose batista Trainer Jason Service and an ownership group comprised of Bethlehem Stable, the Elkstone Group, out of Plains Partners, and Michael Dubb. Very game run from number two, Appa, had the right trip, just got outkicked by a better horse in Passport to Chaos. Twelfth and final race on the tard, the twelfth race over the turf at about seven and a half furlongs. Maidens of the special weight variety, we have a field of 11. Off-time favorites included the two, the Green Moster, the four, Scrapper, and the ten, Four Knights. And runners away. Data missed the start too, and Algebra was a step slow. From between horses, Princess Power is heading off for the early lead to her inside. That's Scrapper who comes on to challenge these two. Move a length and a half better than a log jam of runners, which includes Y'all Lion, Stock Trade, and Oroscopo out widest of all. Down at the inside, the Green Moster. Moving between horses was Four Knights and out the rail. Be gone, Daddy. Gets a good ground saving spot early as they're still trying to sort themselves out. It's a gap of another four to Algeba, who's second last. And then it's a gap of another two and a half to the trailer King Orb. To the backstretch, they roll. 23 and 2 for the opening quarter speed. Princess Power and Roberto Alvarado Jr. call the shots. They lead a length and a quarter. Y'all Lion is racing from second. Stock trade on the outside is now third. Down at the inside, fourth follows Scrapper, only about two and a half lengths off the lead, ahead of four knights who's mid flight. At the rail, that's the Green Moster, three in front of Be Gone Daddy. Trying to get motivated from the back is Datum. Also trying to put in a charge is Oroscopo, and King Orb continues at the back of the group. Alongside that is Algebaz. They round the far turn. 46 and 4 for the opening half mile. Princess Power has the lead. Scrapper trying to get to him. So is Four Knights on the outside and still right there is Y'all Lion as they straighten for the drive. Princess Power has the lead. Scrapper trying to thread the needle up the fence and Scrapper has room if he can quicken. It's Princess Power in front. The Green Moster on the stand side and Scrapper has the lead at the rail. Scrapper with a heads up ride from Edgar. Zayas kicks clear to win at a length and a quarter. The Green Moster was second. Princess Power was third. Stock trade fourth. Then Y'all lion in 128 and three. Trainer Todd Pletcher caps off an unforgettable afternoon as number four Scrapper rides the rail to victory, squeezing through a tight spot at the eighth pole under jockey Edgar Zayas, who registers his third winner of the day. Sumaya U.S. Stables, the winning owners of this son of Orb. Second, number two, the Green Moster. Third was the six, Princess Power. The Rainbow Six was hit today for more than $12,000, and that triggers a carryover into Sunday's card of close to $150,000. And that wraps up the Saturday card. We'll be right back here on Sunday with a 10 race card. Our first race post will be 1 p.m. Boy, you got to be at Gulfstream Park. Good night and good luck. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired. Oh, my aching back. Let's hit the hay.